but he's put it to the right, marginally so. And a disappointed Anthony Cunningham just looks away. Disappointment. Yeah, difficult first three, as you said, you know, it's well out to field, but still Joe Kenny makes them look easy most of the time, so he'd be disappointed with that. David Herity in there between uh, Richie Power and Tony O'Gregan. Across here comes David Collins. Up along towards David Burke. Switching positions here, trying to take it was James Regan, battling in there with Paul Murphy once again, and Murphy goes down, fouled, Friedrich Kenny, chance to take a bit of pressure off their defence. They need a couple of scores, there are nearly 13 minutes gone, they've only got one point. Exactly, just David Burke a little trip there, he didn't, very little in it, but you'd have to say the movement of Galway is causing havoc, their defence, David Collins has been on the ball two or three times, Johnny Cohen, Neil Dunno, all started very, very well, and their constant movement is just upset little Kenny lads are not letting them settle on the ball and they're going to be very very happy with the start well Richie Parr I wonder will he go for a point from here or try to lob it in he's inside his own 65 metre line it's travelling but uh, it's travelling somewhat inaccurately and another one has been missed that's I think three frees so far missed by Kilkenny Richie's missed two of them yeah it's a slow start for Kilkenny and they're under pressure already I know it's early days but four points down after 13 minutes a great start by Galway James Skell from Kapitagel, ready to pocket back out into the centre again. Trying to measure where he's uh, placing the ball. Almost ten minutes gone since Kilkenny got their one and only score. That's up there as far as Cyril Donnellan. Knocked away. Picked up beautifully by Niall Burke. And again, he was about to be hooped there and the defence came in en masse and made it difficult for Burke. He's only 21 years of age. Player whose first two shots got uh, first two points in four minutes in the uh, start of the Leinster final. Yeah, and interesting, I think David Burke, who to me has been maybe Galway's most consistent player all year. James Gehill is looking for him on the puckouts. Uh, he's on Paul Murphy and he's strong in the air. And, you know, I'm a bit surprised Tommy Walsh just out there and let Paul Murphy pick up Sir Don near to the goals. Tommy by doesn't look that comfortable in there. By comparison, the Kilkenny puckouts have been looking for Richie Parr. He's been marked by Tony O'Gregor. There's one a few of those. This is good. This is TJ Reid. Left it behind there, but the referee's whistle has gone for a drag down, and it's going to be a free in for Kilkenny and a free from the 20 metre line. Take a look at this again. Yeah, great catch by TJ Reid. I think, you know, he was, he was definitely fouled there, but I think the ref was letting him go when he lost possession and he blew the whistle maybe a little bit late. But this is the danger. You know, Kilkenny are very, very strong in the air in there, and a good catch by TJ Reid. Well, standing over this one is Henry Shefflin, his team uh, 1 2 to a point down. Would he possibly, or will he be I don't just think so. I think, with a point? I think they need the point at this stage just to keep him in it. He's gone for it! It's a 65. He was having a go. And he didn't shape like he was going to go for the cut. Definitely got me by surprise up here. You never know with Henry. It's a big 65 now after going for the goal, or he'll need to put this over. Henry, with 27 championship goals to his credit already, was looking for another one here. And in the end, it was Fergal Moore who got his stick down to it, was anticipating that he just might have tried it. So from the 65. Might have been David Collins, if I'm not sure they knew much about it, but it hit someone and went out for 65 and a good break for Galway. Henry Shefflin hits it to the left and it hasn't started well at all for Kilkenny. This is a very poor start. They looked in the opening minute or two like they were going to impose their will on the game and uh, send out a message to Galway that they were, going, were not going to be bossed around second time in the championship. Yeah, it's more, and it's more their own. It's not really... Galway are playing their own game. I've scored 1-2, which is fine after 15 minutes. But Kilkenny are just you know, having a few very, very bad wides and, and they look very, very tense out there. Five wides so far for Kilkenny. Back they come again, or attempt to do so there. That was Tommy Walsh. Anthony Cunningham just uh, with some words of advice there for Andy Smith in midfield, holding his position. It was interesting in the uh, last game between the two teams that Kilkenny were the ones who lost their shape that day, they didn't hold their lines at all. That's Michael Fenley this time, he was missing that Leinster final. This is cut out by Fergal Moore, swiftly into the forwards it goes, in there towards James Regan, runs on, Paul Murphy back. And a very, very smart delivery back into the forwards towards TJ Reid, moved across. Here's Kevin Hines, hasn't been under too much pressure so far. Straight to Jackie Tyrrell, took it down in commanding fashion. Regan's after him. Hand pass slipped inside here as far as Aidan Forward, he hasn't seen much of him so far. 
nicely out as far as Richie Hogan. Here's a chance of a score from the angle. Richie Hogan puts it over the bar. And that'll do Kilkenny a lot of good. It's their first point to come from open play, and it's taking nearly 17 and a half minutes. Yeah, it was a very good score. If you look here, when Aidan Forward got the ball, there was a wall of four or five Galway men in front of him, but he slipped it out to Richie Hogan and smart finishing over the bar, and Galway or Kilkenny really needed that score. Has the game panned out in the opening, uh, what is it, 18 minutes, the way you thought it might? I, I, you know, it's just, to me, it's lacking a little bit of passion. I think there's an awful lot of tension out there, and you know, I think Galway will be happier the way the thing has gone so far. Brian Hogan under this, but he's beaten for it in the air by the marvellous Niall Burke. Burke is so good with his hands getting up there ahead of Brian Hogan and that's an important one to win then the foul occurred and then Galway awarded the free in so that's a huge important catch it's a huge catch you don't see Brian Hogan beaten in the air he's six foot four or five and a great catch by Niall Burke and you know so far Galway are winning those little crucial battles Kevin Hines at full back and you see Niall Burke there David Burke they're all playing very very well so far this will be a first pointed free by Joe Canning if he gets it and he does from some 25 metres out could hardly miss and now he's made it 1-3 to two points, and it's been a really, really good start for Galway. They'll be confident heading into the rest of the match. But they would want to be merit wary because this is Kilkenny they're up against. The best team we have seen. Caught in midfield here by Ir Latanian. Back into the inside, forwards it comes. Running away here, and Joe Canning after it quickly. JJ Delaney's his marker. Lots of speculation beforehand as to how he might do against JJ. He's done really well here, but his finish has left him down. And that's untypical. No, that was a great piece of play by Joe. He's going to be so disappointed, a bit like the free. You know, won a great ball, just rounded JJ as if he wasn't there. And, you know, you'd expect him. Look at this, a beautiful turn here. And header for the goals, did everything right and a poor finish. Has to be said, we don't know how the game is going to pan out, but this Kilkenny team has been on the road a long time. They have a lot of experience. Galway are a younger side. David Burke. And uh, this time, the referee has seen something off the ball involving Joe Canning and JJ Delaney, and he's racing in there to have words, and it's with JJ Delaney. And the fullback from Fenians indicted here. And a note being taken of his name. Didn't see any card being issued. It's got to be a free in. And Barry Kelly from Westmead, the teacher in Bar County Offaly, laying down the law early on here. Yeah, and Jerry, you saw the link play there again. David Burke onto the breaking ball in the middle of the field, which he's done brilliantly all year. And then a great ball in front of Joe Canning. Judge and Lenny pulled him down off the ball, free in. And, you know, Kilkenny to me, what I'm surprised with more, they asked me did the pan out the way. What I'm really surprised with, no Kilkenny forward is getting the better of their man at this stage. And you'd imagine on paper they look so strong, but the Galway backs are all over them at the moment. And that is another one for Joe Canning. Well, he's just one of two scorers, Andy Smith getting the other point for them, the opening point of the match for Galway from play. So 1-4 to two points, so far so good, with 20 minutes gone here in this All-Ireland Hurling final. David Herity. There was a call there, I think, by Fergal Moore, and the ball came back to him. On to Tony O'Gregan, who clears a pile of ball in every match he plays. That was Damien Hayes who left it behind. This is Jackie Turrell, blocked down by Ear Latanian. Jackie goes again. Very strong. Tanian went after him. Hayes is there as well. It slipped out as far as Aidan Fogarty. Fogarty trying to go by Tony O'Gregan out on the sideline. He hits it and he's hit it wide and all of that because of the very good pressure being exerted by the Galway backs absolutely we saw Ireland Italian first put in a couple of great tackles great block down there on Jackie Terrell and then you saw Tony O'Gregan and that's about the third occasion we've seen Kilkenny shooting from right out at the sideline normally they're going up the middle here's Ireland Italian again great block down and uh, you know Galway are forcing them wide they're, there's a blanket defence there and they're just their tactics are working out brilliantly so far from this fuck out again it's caught superbly by what a start to the match he's after making. Brilliant play by Niall Burke. And he fires it over. And it's now 1-5 to two points. It's a dream start for the tribesmen, the outsiders in the minds of so many people. What a catch, what a finish. Absolutely brilliant. And, you know, he's capable of doing that. He had three wides against Cork in the first half. Ended up scoring a couple of points in the second half and a great score there again. I mean, Brian Cody did counsel against anybody saying that Kilkenny were going to blow Galway out of the water, as they say nowadays. 
and he's proved quite correct. Galway are up for this, and they are standing shoulder to shoulder with Kilkenny. They're not going to be overawed. Absolutely not. They're dominating the game at the moment, and you know, Kilkenny have had a few wides, but as I say, they were pressure wides from way out the field, and Galway well on top. The Italian about to hit this sideline ball. Still inside his own 65 metre line. Not a great connection. It's Owen Larkin, who is the team captain for Kilkenny, who is deemed to have gone in over the side there, it seems, and uh, fouled. A bit worth looking at again. Yeah, Owen Larkin won the ball there, went into contact. In against uh, David Collins, and uh, the referee says he deliberately pulled. pulled him down. Yeah, you know, he did. He did pull him down. He put yep. the arm in around the back, and uh, good call by Barry Kelly. John Canning has gone way, way out here to take this free. That's where the teams run out uh, when the dressing room is across in the Cusick stand are being used. So that's an indication of how far from the target he is. Can he make it? He's done well so far. And this time the uh, umpire goes across rather leisurely and finally waves it wide. He's been very ambitious for some of those long, long range frees. Would it have been better maybe to drop it in and give the forward to Well, chance? if it was, he'd stay in there himself. That's two frees now, very difficult ones, but on his day he can score and he also missed one from play. So, Galway could be further ahead. Reid has done well here. 45 metres out, swinging around. And that's a beautiful score by TJ Reid to settle Kilkenny and put them right back into the contest again. Five points the margin, TJ Reid's first. Yeah, and Kilkenny hanging in there, but TJ Reid is brilliant at that, a great catch, and he turned back onto his left side and over the bar, great score. Only three scores so far, a point from a free by Henry Shefflin, one from play by Richie Hogan, and one from TJ Reid there just immediately. He comes back once again to James Regan, back as far as Damian Hayes. Slipped inside here, and this time Niall Burke needed an extra second to try and get onto it, but Regan has read the flight of the ball there, about to be surrounded by Kilkenny players, one of them is Richie Hogan, Hogan gets it away, it's swiftly into the forward, three full forwards in there to challenge for it, out by Fergal Moore, out as far as David Collins, two players have soldiered long and hard in the colours of Galway over the years, not always with the greatest of success, out as far as David Burke here, trying to sweep inside, but it's Paul Murphy who robs it from him, gets it out here, out as far as Richie Hogan, and Hogan from deep inside his own half of the field, sets Kilkenny back into the attack again, or at least he would hope to think so. But Galway's back with Kevin Hines there, looking back towards his own end line, slips the little hand pass back out towards Johnny Cohen, stands his ground, darts off, Colin Fennell is after him, ball intercepted in flight, and Fennell is gone, chasing after it, shows the work rate, shows the intent in the 